member at Elkmount thanks to that win too. So that's a pretty wow, sweet is he party really? gift as well. Oh. Maybe we can hit him up for a round. Oh. What do you think? Absolutely. <laughs> We're definitely around on the road him. with this guy. Because yeah, not... they are not paying attention to the game. Here's what's going on. Upton thinks that his bat hit the catcher's mitt. Walt caught the plate umpire says it's either a foul ball or something different than that. Madden comes out and he's primarily sticking up for Upton here taking over the argument. That's what's going on. Here's the replay. What do you think happened? And it wasn't really close. At this point, it looks like Joe Madden is asking the replay people whether they should challenge for catcher's interference. I don't know why they haven't gone to the headsets yet and why the argument is still existing because this is, as of recently, a reviewable play. Didn't used to be, but thankfully it is. It's more about the strike zone because there's been a lot of barking up here, but then you watch because you're watching this. And it does look like he's hit Griner's glove. Oh, he's, I'm he's sorry, darn no. Yeah, he's complaining that Upton might be complaining here that there was catcher interference. That's exactly yeah. what he's complaining about. Right. But they've also been chirping about the strike zone. Goslin didn't like that, didn't like that third strike call to him. And they've kind of been barking all game long at home plate on power. Even if it is an argument about catcher's interference. It's not a reviewable play, I don't believe. Yeah, it's actually on the list of reviewable plays. Maybe a rules check here. Now, actually, catcher's interference is reviewable. Batter interference is not. There you go. Good job. That's absolutely right. So this is what happened or what appears to have happened. Upton looks like he's checking his swing perhaps because the bat is sort of going slow and then hits the glove or the mitt and stops completely. Now, what happens when you do a check swing versus a full swing is that umpire, plate umpire is listening for sound. You can't hear the sound when it is a check swing because it's not hitting the glove fast enough. A full swing, you hear it at speed. That's why I think Wolcott didn't hear it. Oftentimes it's easier to hear than to see. Also, look at our past videos. It doesn't have to be a full swing for a catcher's interference call to be made. Simply depriving the batter of the opportunity to strike at the pitch is enough for that call. No dropped it anyway, so it's restored. Now the explanation to A.J. Hinch. That's Hunter Wendelstedt's voice, by the way. AJ Hinch just got tossed. And you could you could hear him say, "You're trying to make it about me, and this is not about me." And he's giving it to Hunter Wendelstedt right now, getting his money's worth. So Hunter's upset because Hinch is making it personal or he claims that way. But Hinch could have been ejected simply for arguing a replay review. Argue an overturn call, that on its own is an ejection. That's where the buck stops, whether or not it becomes a personal issue with Hunter. He definitely got his money's worth there. That's the first Tigers ejection for A.J. Hinch. George Lombard will take over. Not just for A.J. Hinch, it's the first Detroit ejection of the season. Anywho... This is a situation where I'm looking at game management and Joe Madden came out and he was fine coming out to defend his player who was agitated and to request the review. But my question is, remember we have a time limit on reviews and challenges and that is a 20 seconds after the call and the call that Walcott made was apparently foul ball or ball or something to that effect. 
I think Madden took longer than 20. But again, it gets complicated because he's sticking up for his player. Does he lose the time on that or not? It would be great if the league put something out because if I'm Hinch and I'm the other team, I'm saying Madden took longer than 20 seconds. And guess what? Technically, I'm right. So there's 33 seconds from the original call, so to speak, and we just started another timer because Madden looked at the dugout and said, should I review it? Then go straight back to arguing. Do we give 20 seconds from that point too? Because will Madden go back to the dugout to figure out if we want to challenge the call within 20? Because they've been a lot of barking up here, but then you watch, because you're watching this. And it does look like he's hit Griner's glove. Oh, he's, I'm he's sorry, Darno. He's, yeah, he's complaining that Upton might be complaining here that there was catcher interference. That's exactly yeah. what he's complaining about. Right. But they've also been chirping about the strike zone. Goslin didn't like that, didn't like that third strike call to him. And they've kind of right there is the first long. formal request I can see to challenge the call. That is over one and a half minutes since the original call and over 50 seconds since Madden first looked into the dugout to figure out if the Angels wanted to challenge the call. If I'm Hinch, that's what I get upset about. Maybe that's what Hinch got upset about. You're allowing something you're not supposed to allow. Hunter heard the word you. It was personal, etc. The ejection, again, is for arguing an overturn replay call, which is a proper reason for ejection. But... Should this replay review have been denied in the first place for taking too long, even though they technically got the right call because it was catcher's interference? All I can say is if they denied Madden's request to challenge this, it would have been supported by the rules and the manuals, but I guarantee you Joe Madden would have been ejected. One way or another, someone's getting ejected on this play because Madden comes out and argues for like two minutes before asking for a review. I exaggerate, a minute and a half. Still, longer than 20 seconds. Which leads us back to the philosophy of replay in the first place. Do we want to get the call right no matter how long it takes, or should we do pace of play? I thought replay was supposed to prevent arguments like the one that Madden had. You're supposed to challenge at the beginning. Where do you become ineligible to challenge? What's the time limit? How do we actually officiate these things? One thing's for sure, this was catcher's interference, so they got that part right. It's just the process. What is the process? So 